Neat. Neat. Finishing the palace tonight? I probably can. I should write something. Like, I kind of want to go ham before Fire Emblem Engage releases next week. You know, I've got one week before that game comes out, and it's probably going to consume my life. So if I can make, like, some good progress on this, it'd be pretty good. And, you know, I started at a pretty decent hour today. And, you know, even though I've been streaming for six and a half hours, it's only 11.30 p.m. We have the time. We have the technology. So, I mean, I, I'm kind of tempted to do so. If I keep on going hard, I might need to take another BRB break somewhere in the middle to, like, fuel up. Get, like, a snack or what something. Do you do? But, uh, now return to the rail from Nijima's Palace. But we could probably go hard here. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to Engage as well. I'm, uh, I'm kind of worried about it, though, as well. I know that's saying, like you said, for my Engage playthrough, I that Engage itself. But, you know, and I appreciate you saying that there. Um, I made a big video essay on Fire Emblem Three Houses. So I might end up doing it. Like, Fire Emblem might just become the kind of thing, like, Pokemon that I end up doing big video essays for if I feel like, uh, you know, there's a lot to talk about with that. I'm kind of excited for that game, but also kind of worried at the same time. Like, I'm I'm so mixed on how I feel about it, you know? Let's see, I probably won't pick up a game if I'm gonna watch you play it totally. I appreciate that there. Um, but if I do make, like, a big video essay on it, I've been brainstorming ideas for bigger video essays on the channel recently. Also, can I just say how jarring this is? staying on this screen because i have like the game open there i have obs open here so this is what you're seeing it also has the game and that's a stream manager there that's also playing the game so like what i see is literally this right now so like this is so much red in my face so i was gonna finish my thought and then uh and then press a because a new thing's gonna happen when we do this but i can't look at this anymore this is so much red uh, i see so this is how you go about arranging your operations it feels as though I now have a much better understanding of why you've been so successful. <laughs> it's a lot of running. Yeah, he's running from screen to screen. Okay, now I can finish my thought without getting blinded by so much red on all my screens. Okay. This is a lot easier on the eyes. You tired? Uh, no, we're gonna get a massage first. Had three houses since launch and still haven't finished it. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of things to say about that game. Just, like, not, you know, giving me enough reason to get through. I got all the way through anyway for the sake of doing it on the channel, but I got so bored doing it. Anyway, I think after that, Fire Emblem, similar to Pokemon, might just be one of those series that I end up doing big video essays for with each new release. So I might end up doing one with Engage, like if there's a lot to talk about in regards to it. And recently I've been brainstorming video essay title ideas, namely for, uh, namely for the Scarlet and Violet video essay, and I have a really good one in mind. Um, but I thought a little bit about one for the uh, Fire Emblem Engage video essay. And uh, if it's really, if I end up really liking it and it's really positive, I don't know what I'm going to call it. But if I really don't like it and there's a lot of things to criticize about it, I'm going to call it I want a divorce. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what I, uh, that's what I want to call it. And then on the uh, thumbnail, just have like, and I'm taking the kids that has like the various Engage emblem things the emblems the characters from the other games stuff like that like if it's not so great and i criticize it that's the stance that i have to take with like the thumbnail and title it's so good but if it actually turns out being really good and i really like it then i don't know then i'm at a loss i, I won't know what to do then. <laughs> but that's something i came up with like yesterday <laughs> that, that was really funny yeah it's 130 you can't get a water your thirsty as hell why can't you get a water at 1.30, the other day you watched a YouTube video by Tamo here explaining how impossibly difficult Generation 3 was for completing the Pokedex. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you needed to 100% uh, Pokemon Coliseum and uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in addition to doing like all this stuff in like the actual Gen 3 games. So you basically needed 100% Fire Red Leaf Green, Ruby Sapphire Emerald, Coliseum, and XD Gale of Darkness, and do some spicy challenges within XD Gale of Darkness and Coliseum. And I think you needed to be around for some like special events for that, right? I don't buy many Pokemon games from that time, although it's one of your favorite generations. It does show how far back Game Freak has gone with anti-consumer behavior. Yeah. Yeah, though it was like it was more of an accident around the time of uh around the time of generation three, since they couldn't, you know, transfer Pokemon over from the previous generations to uh to that there, from one system to another. But eventually they were able to. And nowadays they still can, but they just choose not to because they can make money off of like, well, you can. They just choose not to in a free way, I should say, because it's Pokemon Home is like a paid service, is the thing. So, you know, that was pretty grody there. Also, speaking of Pokemon Generation 3, we're going to start Pokemon Coliseum on this channel in the near future. I don't know if it's going to be this weekend, but, like, pretty soon here. 
Maybe I'll wait until after engage. Or maybe I'll do it before. I'll probably wait until after engage. So it probably won't be this weekend. But sometime shortly after engage, I want to start Coliseum. And so. Yeah, mainly because you tried to recruit everyone, but you got tired of grinding different weapon skills. That's understandable there. Pokeball's there now. Officially over 9,000. You have 9,000 channel points. Parents are sleeping. Your dogs start barking. Pokemon Home is going to be free when the shop goes down. When the shop goes down, Pokemon Home is going to be discontinued. So they wouldn't keep running something that just, you know, you know, drains money from them and doesn't make them anything. You know? Also, for that water solution, just keep, like, a liter bottle nearby at all times like I do. Heck, I actually keep, like, two water bottles nearby, but I usually only need to fill one. Um, is the case. Okay, you meant, uh, you meant bank there. Yeah. I've heard about, uh, I've heard about that. Um, I mean, all that remains is actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down, too. Still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdown, so it's, it's a sketchy. It's gotta be. That's literally the only person I can think that it would be. Like, I thought for a little bit, maybe it could be Mr. Clean as well. I'm pretty convinced that it's a sketchy now. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nichimachi-san's shadow, and that he's, like, playing us and getting to the treasure, and he's gonna, like, take out his gun and try to shoot Shay's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained the name of the clues. I agree. That is why she has the warrant out on the Phantom Thieves, after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijima's son's shadow. Freaking lock Akechi in a room and interrogate him! Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? Yes! Yes! It is! True. There'd be no end to the mistrust if we began doubting our peers. It's Akechi! Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, Harmony. I don't know why I stumbled on it sometimes. Reminds me, home shopping program is airing on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Time to do some shopping. Instant spray set. Goodbye, germs. Send them packing with this set. Ultimate spray. What the heck do these do? Fire quick spray. Am I dreaming? This deal's too good to be true. But wait, there's more. The meditative set. An exotic smell will open your mind to a world of possibilities. So those are like buff the stats of my personas there. Impossible. Are you seeing these deals, viewers? Wow, they're both such great items. Um, I don't know. This is the thing that I know what it does. Oh, that weakens enemies? I don't know. I'll forget that I bought those if I buy those ones. So for close hands, you really stress about what games you want to get before it closes. Just be like me and just... Maybe... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say what I was about to say in case the Nintendo ninjas are listening in, actually, in hindsight. Oh, but I was just calling it. Thank you so much. Oh, they both sold out. That last a customer was extraordinarily lucky. I'll try to get your order to you as soon as possible. Goodbye for now. <laughs> I, I caught my words for a hot second there. <laughs> hey. I feel like, yeah, I want a massage. Cool. What? But yeah, <laughs> yo ho ho. Like, in my opinion, if they're gonna stop selling them anyway, How's then the what's the harm? Master? Really, my student requested a massage. Like, uh, does my th my master? three S is just over here? Does it have any battery right now? I wonder. Is there currently battery? Oh heck yeah, there is. It takes a while to boot up sometimes because of how much stuff is on it. Maybe that should do it. I feels lighter. It's also easier to move. So oh. I press the power button at like the beginning of that sentence and it's still booting up. Looks like it was pretty effective. See you later. All right, my home. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Still booting up. Oh, there we go. There is a. You can also get things like custom backgrounds and stuff. But um, you know the amount of games that I have on my uh, on my 3DS. Let's just say um. Might just be kind of a few. I have a few games on my 3DS. I have a few. You know, I even have Game Boy Advance games over there so I can play like a bunch of legacy content as well. So, I essentially retrofitted my 3DS into like the ultimate handheld gaming device. This is the thing, how much space you have. I think I have a 128 gigabyte micro SD card in here, is the thing. I don't remember if I got it on sale or not, but, you know, I have a very big micro SD card in this. Um, so, you know, most of these, most of these are, you know, my own, uh, just like my own cartridges that I dumped right onto the, uh, right onto the system itself. So, while most of my 3DS games are on the shelf over there, I essentially just spent, like, an entire weekend putting them into my system one by one and, like, dumping them, which takes, like, a little while, so... You know, just have my 3DS open on the side. I'll be doing some video editing. I put a cartridge in. I start dumping it. I take whenever it was done. I take out the cartridge, put it in the next one, start dumping that, and then you know they always just exist on my uh, always just exist on my 3DS there. 
Um, I have a original 3DS as well, in addition to my new 3DS, so I retrofitted the old one like that as well, and that old one got lent to the uh, older of my little cousins to give him, like, also, like, the ultimate handheld gaming experience there, essentially, but I don't think he, uh, played it as much as I, like, I put a lot, a lot of content on there for him, um, but, uh, I don't know how much he uh, did that, and he also told me that he couldn't get into Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and that made me big sad. Yeah, I could put the, uh, Jack Frost up on the shelf. But yeah, why don't you try decorating your room a bit? Um, sure, let's decorate. Let's put on the, uh, Jack Frost doll. Sure, that's the first prize you got. I had no idea creating games were that fun. Oh, so it goes up over there. Um, what are the- Here's a I Heart Tokyo thing, Bob. I don't even see it. Where did I put it? Oh, right there. Um, Sky Tree Lamp? Oh, so that would go there instead of the, uh, Chocolate Fountain. But yeah, so I essentially- I wanted to basically retrofit this in a way that if I ever want to play, like, some classic handheld game, I can just whip out my 3DS and just play whatever game I want to play. You know, is what I kind of figured. That's why that's, uh, that I set up. And it took a lot, a lot of work to do so. But, you know, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Like, I don't even know if I, uh, by the time that I want to use this as its ultimate handheld gaming device, if I'll even still be doing, you know, series and stuff like that. Why is the chat not changing there? on the uh on the channel maybe it'll be a time when uh you know this is just sitting on my shelf and i'm like hmm about those days where i was playing video games and stuff like that do i want to try it again and then i try it out like i whip it out and i try things out and, you know so i kind of set things up that way well what do you want to do um yeah so we can go and do whatever the heck now so there's that um i can go up with the ey um so most of the things should work. Some of them don't. I try to boot up Pokemon Emerald as an example, and it's just frozen. So, you know, maybe not all of them might work. I'll go ahead and return to the home menu there. But yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's kind of what I did. Get sink water in a cup. Yeah, why not? We could probably max out Chihaya there. Is probably the case. Like in my experience, the uh, the Game Boy Advance games were a little bit sketchy. Some of them. So I'm not 100% certain if all the Game Boy Advanced ones work, but all the, uh, all the 3DS and the DS ones should work just fine there. Should work. I'm gonna try booting up Fire Emblem Sacred Stones and see if that, uh, see if that works. But yeah, so, essentially, because, you know, even with a Switch, in theory, if I could do something like this with a Switch, maybe it's possible. I've never tried that before. Hey, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones works! Um... If you could do something like that with a Switch, it still wouldn't be able to, like, fit in a pocket. It's not quite as portable. So this, I figured, is, like, the ultimate, like, insane library of handheld games over the course of 20-plus years that I can have in my pocket, you know? So, uh, so if ever I want to play some, uh, some classic handheld games, I have, uh, I have that at my disposal. So that's the case. Yeah, so this one works. So Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones seems to work a-okay. You don't have to worry about that. Sweet. But yeah, most of the uh, most of the games on this haven't actually been tested just because, you know, I load a whole lot of them on there. But yeah, again, my humble opinion on stuff like that is if the company itself isn't selling it anymore, what's the harm? <laughs> you know, it's not like you're taking away from potential profits of theirs if, you know, they refuse to sell them, is the case. If I could... We've talked about buying Sacred Stones earlier this playthrough. Um, not this stream, but earlier this playthrough. When we were in the Jazz Club talking about how Walmart didn't have Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. But it had Sacred Stones listed as a game that you could buy. And I was debating about buying it. And seeing what would happen, you know, was the case. Buy freaking Sacred Stones from Walmart. See what, uh, see what happens there. Also, you can do, like, a whole bunch of custom backgrounds by, uh, doing the things that I've done. Like, this is a background based off of that, like, special Pokemon thing where Bob that they did with, uh, what's-their-face, Bump a Chicken, I believe it is, with a whole bunch of trainers and stuff. You remember that stream? Yeah, so, you know, if I could buy these games, I totally would. Maybe I can buy Sacred Stones, and maybe I should try buying Sacred Stones out of curiosity. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of thing where Bob stuff. I even have, like, some region-exclusive, uh, things set up here. Like, for example, on this, uh, on this 3DS, I have both... Like, the Western version of Fire Emblem Fates, in addition to the Japanese version of Fire Emblem Fates, which is known as Fire Emblem If. And I essentially use that in case I want to get any content that's exclusive to the Japanese version or try out any things for that. Like, there was a set of DLC that was released exclusively for the Japanese version. And you can transfer your save files between 
the uh, English and Japanese version just fine. Like, that works A-OK. -okay. That's something that I can tinker around with and do. So, there are, like, some translation patches that people have made and ways to patch them into, like, English versions of the game, that DLC. Which, you know, when we continue with the Fates playthrough on the channel, I'd like to see if I could get working. I almost got it working once, but it's weird and finicky. But yeah, was your first Fire Emblem game? <laughs> what do you think about it as your first? Mine was good old Blazing Sword. I wonder if Blazing Sword works. I know I have it on this, but I don't know if I've tested it. There's Sealed Sword. No, the Blazing Sword or the Binding Blade or whatever the heck it said here. Or maybe I just listed it wrong there. Because this isn't... Wait, is 6 the... I know that... Whatever. I know that Fire Emblem 7 was just called Fire Emblem Internationally. Because it was the first international Fire Emblem. Was the case. At best. Okay, I should find out if Blazing Sword here works. Because that was my first one. Sacred Stones worked. Oh, an error has occurred. Press and hold the power button to turn the system off. Gosh, gosh dang it. At least Sacred Stones works. Alright, I'll turn off the power for now. So yeah, the Game Boy Advanced ones could use a little bit of tuning on this device here. But, uh, you know, some of them work, some of them don't. All the 3DS and DS things should work fine, though. So, yeah, let's just put that back in the wonky place that I had at Sinkwater Acquired. Nice. But yeah, so that 3DS there and my old 3DS, which is currently at my cousin's household, are both basically filled up to be the ultimate handheld gaming experiences. Basically the ultimate. Here's something that I can put in my pocket and have 20 plus years of gaming content there from across, what, like the early 2000s to like 2021 or something like that? No, not 2021. I think the last one on there would have been 2019. With Bowser's Inside Story for the 3DS, I think. Something like that. Yeah, I enjoyed Birthright, but really dug Revelations, though Phoenix Difficulty was really- Oh, you played on Phoenix Difficulty? Um... Wacky. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Since the- Yeah, yeah. Do a verification test or something I'd like to ask you. Please have a seat. I've only played on Phoenix Difficulty for uh, save files that are specifically meant to transfer skills to other save files. So please sit down. Where I basically don't pair anybody up. But have everybody well, ready to, to pair up with well one now. another. Save. Have them pair up with one another. Beat the game. Now I can transfer over those skills to another save file. And reload that save so those people are no longer paired up anymore. Yada yada. Stuff like that. So I could get basically whatever skills I want on whatever child units. I went pretty I hard on Fates back when. I with them from time to time. And they're all very cheerful. That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. I've been getting thanked a lot more lately. Even by the people who get bad fortunes. Particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate. Mm -hmm. You've changed. That's very true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to Wait, live in. Wait, I saved right she before was this. Wasn't the 13th I a, a, um... Do I want to do this another time? The 13th is, uh... Matara Kunda. Decrease all foes' defense for three turns. I'm just now realizing. Do I want that on anyone? I'm getting- I'm starting to get pretty full on skills that I want, though. Really no she big started deal. avoiding me. I read the fortune of our fate. It was a terrible result. Like, but I prayed that it would somehow work out. Hold on. However, hold on. that never happened. Persona That's 5 Royal, Mataru Kunda. Like, who gets that? No, not Masakunda, Mataru Kunda. Yeah, search instead for this thing. It's not getting any results? Did I misspell it? Oh, Matarunda. Wait, no. No, it's Marakunda. Sorry, not Matarakunda. Persona 5 Royal. Marakunda. Decrease all enemies defense. Um, does it say who gets it here? Persona 5 Royal. Um, apparently none of my... Gosh dang, I hate it when pages load ads and then it shifts everything. and then I can get it through skill cards though. I can get it with a uh, with an Orbis electric char chair execution during a fusion alarm. So it's not like it'd be, you know, unobtainable forever, is the case. But no one gets it naturally. Meh, if I really want, I can technically just do the chair and like a skill card thing. Eh, I'll just, eh. No surprise though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. You should. Yeah, you're right. Oh. I like my Persona Dex is pretty filled. I can probably match like a whole bunch of crazy combinations to reach like the thing that I need to for that. 
So if I ever really, really want it, I can get it without Our passing time. Is amazing. So, why ever not? Connected. Maybe I'll just try keeping in mind some of the no later spicier ones from, from now on. My name's like Monster or Maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits so that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. Um, you have strong convictions. Yes. Now, it's your turn to speak. What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? <gasps> Whoa, everyone finds out at rank 10. I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. Because that's how fortune telling that works. You had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes the sensation in the world. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. Uh, um. <laughs> so what if I am the trickster? I don't know. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. But I don't care what your true identity is. As I'm long Batman. as you're around, I can always be my true self. So, it's fine. I thought your true self was like Only the hootin' tootin' hollering. The fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. This is Sounds the first time cool. I've ever seen anything like it. Um. Are you worried about me? There's no time to be worried. We must take action in order to change fate, right? I'll be by your side. As the fortune teller who changes fate, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I feel a strong bond with Jahaya. Blood oath! I am Give me your blood! Thou I mean... <laughs> I. Thou hast turned a vow thou into a blood into oath. Blood oath. Whoa! Thy bond that was shall crazy. The wings of rebellion it will become the wings of rebellion. Heart. Break the yoke of thy heart. Wow. The ultimate secret of fortune. Whoa. Ultimate secret of fortune. Power. Whoa. Far out. Bam. Special bond reading allows you to clearly understand what other people are thinking. All right. That sounds like a bee right. busted in real life. <laughs> you can fuse. You can now fuse Lakshmi. With the most powerful persona of the Wheel of Fortune Arcana. Okay. Special bond reading. Choosing special bond reading may change the color of certain dialogue options when you spend time with confidants. Highlight option will improve your relationship with that confidant. However, remember that some answers may still change the nature of your relationship, so choose carefully. I got you. Still, what a strange sequence the cards were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. It's my you party. You have amazing charisma, or you're a trouble magnet. Both. My charisma's maxed. <laughs> or my charm. The verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? Please, visit again sometime. Goodbye. I will. I'm going to get that reading and stuff. Delete my admin. It's Monday. All right. Well, neat. We were able to grab a seat. What do we want to read? Let's look on speed reading. I should be able to, uh, sure. Get some reads here. Mm. I became a demon to find my own path. Mm. There's about great people from the past, huh? I'm a little suspicious of how true they are. <laughs> yeah, there are, there are some funny stories that have been uh, told as real things that happened way forever ago. Oh. Like, I forget exactly what the context was, but I remember hearing about this uh, one story that a historian had written about like the army of his nation going and invading this other land and when they invaded they had to fight a dragon to overcome and <laughs> that was what they wrote as fact so that was almost certainly true uh, the desire for knowledge leads to an unexpected end hi hey you're like you're getting through that book quickly the guide on speed reading really helps well how far do you get not far enough yet you're like you still have some pages left you should continue some other time you're being rather affectionate tonight, huh? Are you? We're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Would you like your dinosaur? Want the dino? There you go. You'd like that, right? Pay attention. <laughs> hey, quit sleeping over there. 
Jeez, y'all look like a bunch of dead fish. What was it? Your phone? Video games? I know you were up late. I always wake up at sunrise. On the other hand, kids these days. I mean, the most intense weekend that I ever spent video gaming this past year at uh, Fragapalooza, I would wake up at sunrise. But that's because I was sleeping in my car. And uh, once the sun started beating into my car, it would start heating up like a furnace. And I would just like wake up sweating, being like, oh my god! <laughs> Hey, Kusik, are you awake? Look at this map! <laughs> Look at this map! Why don't you try? You know that you can see the sunrise, the earliest top Mount Fuji, right? Tell me why that is. Um. Mount Fuji submit. So it's around the middle there. Um, so it wouldn't be because it's in the east, because there's a more eastern thing where Bob there. That's near the ocean. Maybe there's sea level and then there's not a whole lot of other things to like see over not other terrain plus like it Plus being high up and stuff. I would say because of high altitude then right plus being near the ocean like sea level and uh Okay, what is the inch website? Oh, that's the wrong tab. That's the uh Thing we're bob there because of high altitude. Okay Because of high altitude this is it In that case exactly. that's right more east and south you go, the earlier the sun rises. Welcome back, Prisoner Wyvern. However, what affects it most is altitude. So, excluding the outlying islands, the sun rises earliest Mount Fuji. What do you miss? Joker said it was joking time, and they joked all over the place. I know that's the second time I've said that this stream, but, uh, <laughs> Kuzi kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice going. Okay, she's definitely glad that I handed her her dino. Um, but yeah. High attitude. <laughs> you go up Mount Fuji. And, uh, the mountain's just like, nah, uh girl. You get to see the sunrise earlier here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ever since Morbid Time, the world hasn't been the same. I saw that movie for the first and only time on the way to Italy. Like, the... Because the planes always have, like, you know, the little screen of the chair of the person in front of you. And you can watch movies and stuff. And they have, like, however much selection of recent movies. And I decided to watch Morbius on the plane. And I was fully expecting it to be, like, hilariously bad. It wasn't. It was just boring. It was, it was just, yeah. But yeah, hello, hello, Rex. How's it going today? Pers personal, or Persona. I, my goodness, I saw that as, like, an L, because it's hard to see there. It's going pretty all right. We're just doing some big chill with Persona here. That said, who knows what Don will ever come with this country. Government and police are completely incompetent. Those phantom thieves need to be caught before anything else cause a pain with that meme. <sighs> I'll show you. We'll show you who's just. Yeah, we sure will. So it's pretty bland. The action was bland. Yeah, it's just that. But yeah, I love that they re-release in theaters after the meme ad didn't even work. Yeah, it's like one of the few movies that's failed twice because it was gaining traction with like the meme. So they were like, oh, any attention is like positive attention, or whatever. That's not what the saying is, but you know what I mean. And uh, they released it in theaters again expecting it to do well and then it flopped a second time wow does really no one want to hang out with me are you kidding me right now like and there's not even anyone prompting me to send like the calling card or anything like that so yeah <laughs> good old mobius there yeah she's a uh, she's quite content just sucking on that dinosaur yet again Again, I'm surprised she doesn't rip it apart, but there's just something about it that, you know, she wants to keep it safe rather than, uh, rather than rip it apart. I mean, can I spend the day doing something like this then? In that case, and then we can get up, like, our Proton Pass thing or Bob or something or other? Maybe? Like, let's see here. Wow. Welcome! Welcome! What do you play? I'm gonna play darts and billiards and to play all you want. Sure, let's play darts and we'll get like baton pass up with some other dudos. Playing darts, time will pass if you play darts. However, you'll have the ability to invite your teammates to play with you. Playing together will help you bond and strengthen the effects of baton pass. Playing darts with your friends may improve your baton pass with multiple party members. I thought we've seen this before. You can view your party members' baton pass rank when choosing who you will invite to play darts. Then we'll see how your party members play darts by pressing lock. You'll also play darts by yourself. You won't be able to increase the bonds with your teammates, but you can practice as much as you like. Right. Do it with good old Akechi. I mean, I could. What do you want to do? I have a feeling he's gonna stab me in the back pretty soon, but uh. Oh yeah, and it shows the rank there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I mean, invite Morgana. I gotta know. 
<laughs> just gotta know what happens. Does the uh, does the cat throw darts? Hmm. <laughs> let's let's put it to a vote. Vote now on your phones. Morgana or Sketchy here for uh for who we're gonna invite to darts. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Yeah. No, I'm definitely saying Goro Ketchy there. And Ardo is Hornet saying, like, Morgana, evidently. I'll just go with, like, the first one I see for either or. As a thing. From someone new. <laughs> from someone that didn't, like, propose the initial things. Best girl, Morgana. Morgana's not even a... Gal okay, we're getting more for a... More for Morgana. Voiced by a gal, I believe. But, uh... Thank you. Alright, we're going with the cat. <laughs> It seems like we're playing darts with a cat. Let's see what uh let's see what happens here. So uh <laughs> Oh how the turntables. <laughs> hey! Okay then, let's begin our team game. Shall we go? Come on, let's team up for the first game. <laughs> time to show my stuff. As for the rules, let's go with 301. Should be a cinch if we combine our strength. Now then. Ready to go? Well let's give it all we got. So, no. <laughs> yeah. I know you can do it. Um, so yeah, it's the weird motion control things. Wait, can't I use a... Oh. So yeah, that makes it easier. That thing for Bob. In that case. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. For real? There we go, three in the black, a low ton hat trick. So switch. Do we get to see you holding a dart? It looks like it's my turn next. Yeah, <laughs> don't fall for me now. This is where I come in. <laughs> wait. Well, we don't quite get to see the actual little thing, Bob. All right. Okay. Then I guess we switch. See what we do. Yes. So now we're into round three. We gotta really pay attention to the score now. It's all yours. <laughs> Alright. Well. Round three. Fight. So I can just like For real? do that. For real? Do that. And then um I gotta just like do that. <laughs> Imagine walking in and seeing a cat playing darts. Man, what did I have to drink last night? Pro dartsman. Same thing happened here then? Nice. Perfect zero. Nobody can beat us when we're teamed up. Alright. Bam. Cool. Very well. Alright. I shall go next. Let us dance with darts. Um Yeah, let's do it. As for the rules, let us go with 301. Everything starts with the basics. Let us go. And so it begins. There's no need to get worked up. Go with the natural approach. Okay. Yeah, I think you had too much to drink without drinking. Yeah. Indeed. Feel like what the heck got spiked in one of my drinks or something. How could this be? How could this be? Well, I guess I could have waited oh. a second longer there. Well. This that was amazing. Here we go. Hat trick. Wow. Nintendo Switch. My turn. <laughs> I revel in this feeling of tension. But yeah. It's my turn. <laughs> Who knows? Well, what's he uh what's he gonna do? Okay. Much lower numbers with you there. All right, we switch. I see. It's round three. Time certainly flies when you're having fun. Take so this is here. this a reference to something that I don't get, I guess. Okay. Round three. Well. For real? For real? Bam. And then we do this. Like that. Cool. There we go. But yeah. <laughs> Neat. 
Experienced Dartsman. <coughs> a perfect zero. A perfect success. Goddess of Victory has smiled upon us. She's quite happy. Not bad. There we go. Baton pass rank two. Damage up HP recover. Neat. Well, wow, that was some crazy skill. Neat. Well, there we go. Yeah, I don't get what it's a reference to. Hmm. Tired from all that precise throwing? I can tell you've grown somewhat, though. Alright, well. These things don't really matter. Yeah, I shouldn't have spent those uh, well spent. those diner days. Like, that studying. We can train up and have fun at the same time. It's a pretty handy place. Alright, neat. See you later. Now then, farewell. Alright, cool. Who wants to hang out this evening? There's a really strange uh, video game. Okay. Let's see hey, here. Inmate. I forgot about your special assignment, have you? What? They're not keep us waiting long. We're waiting in front of our door. What's a special assignment? Just like taking you places? Yo. Oh, the box came for you. Just like going out and hey. doing things with you? But yeah, go joke and hope for the best. <laughs> you get Nirvana Ma! Nirvana N! Nirvana Lu! Oh. There you are off the TV. Okay. Text me here. Got anything for me? No. Let's see. Um, so yeah, there's Sojiro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Hifumi. Probably prioritize Hifumi out of the bunch there. Do I have a star one? I don't Oh, I'm on my star one right now. Yeah, we good. Let's do it. We pretty good here, I think. So that means that we can go hang out with Hifumi, who's gonna give me all those tactics that I'm gonna use in Fire Emblem Engage. It'll be great. Hi. Oh. Krista Kuhn. Thing is, something unexpected happened. Can we talk? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Sure, Thank let's hang out with much. her. Just in case for a thumbnail shot. Like okay. that. But I'm gonna leave the things on because the doogie's being super cute. You know? <laughs> Well, my mother finally talked to me. She told me that most of my matches thus far had been fixed in my favor. She also admitted that she was the one who sold that story to the weekly magazine. I... I had no idea. I feel so ashamed. However, thinking back, I do recall some of my opponents making poor moves at odd times. I've always wanted people to recognize my shogi skills, but I suppose I never had any. I became so conceited as a result of all those fake victories. <sighs> Why did my mother confess all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, you sure love that, don't you? You sure love your dinosaurs. They've got to be some of your favorites. Every other stuffy toy, she would rip apart, like, immediately. You know? Save no time spare no time in uh and ripping them apart but her dinosaurs she just adores those don't you but yeah um yeah let's see here you just finished binging the entire persona 5 anime well not spoiled just try to wrap your head around it. it gets pretty crazy then who's your favorite confidant like what do you mean confidant in terms of like the storyline that i experienced by doing like their little side story by the skills they give me by them as a character? Like, which one? What What you mean here? It's as if she had a change of heart. Oh. Change of heart. The Phantom Thieves. That can't be. Perhaps they eavesdropped on our conversation. Um. I'm glad her heart changed. It's a mindfuck a little bit? Okay. It was painful to hear the truth. But I'm glad that my mother had a change of heart. Um. I've decided. I'm not going to lose. Um. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was referring to the exhibition match. I'm going through with it, as planned. However, before that, I'm going to confess everything. I know I'll receive a lot of criticism, but I must ensure the truth is known. Mm -hmm. This next match will showcase my true talents. I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope you'll watch. As your teacher, I promise to put up a good fight so I don't embarrass myself. But yeah, that's what I've noticed from, uh, you know, the anime that I've watched so far is, you know, this game, you know, things are really slow. Like, that's the way that it's designed to be as you slowly go through things day by day on the calendar. And it's meant to be, like, a chill game that you take through. 
like the, the that you go through really slowly like that but you know All right. the anime is just like here's an entire like several weeks worth of in-game stuff in 20 minutes you know so it really does like blast through them as a character hmm. in terms of like characters like this has been talked about earlier this stream in regards to who are to use fire emblem terms s support is going to be who's the character that we're gonna romance gonna be um and i've really liked both makoto and futaba as you know one is a character that is trying to prove herself prove her usefulness and constantly you know dealing with these feelings of not being good enough and it's like that's something that i resonate with there you know and uh and the stuff with the futaba is also another thing that a lot of people can relate to like these uh feelings of isolation and stuff and you know just her general uh you know mannerisms and the stuff that she'll say sometimes it uh you know it uh it makes you smile it makes you laugh you know it's uh some good stuff there um overall with characters in the game i'm really fascinated by akechi and i'm really curious to see what's gonna happen in the palace coming up here because we know like from the beginning of the game that like shit's gonna hit the fan and stuff and that's probably gonna be akechi that makes that happen and if he's the one that's really pulling like a whole bunch of strings and like taking out shadows and stuff i'm really really intrigued by him you know yeah like even from what i've seen thus far and like this build up to uh you know him gonna be doing something crazy i'm very very intrigued by him so akechi's definitely up there as well but yeah i only watched the first episode never played the game so it's turned him off for persona as a whole or wait or your friend didn't like the anime gotcha gotcha there yeah it uh it's it doesn't really get the time to explore any of the uh any of the concepts the anime is basically like if you want like the spark notes plot summary of all the uh of all the plot points from the game is what it feels like be lying if i told you that i'm not scared my kingdom is a house of cards i'm not sure if it can withstand a true battle however i intend to fight with dignity to the very end as a queen should there's a new move I'd like to test out for the exhibition. Will you stay for another game? Yep, I sure will. One of the Kawakami, personally. Kawakami's a uh, interesting character as well, put into like really crummy situations by. Well, I forget what the uh, name is of that one student's guardians there, but you know that whole situation there. It's like wow, that uh that sure sucks, doesn't it? And for doing you know the right thing of trying to help, and it's like wow, wow, you know. Let's come at me with all you have. That is, if you can get past the valiant knights who guard my Togo kingdom. Yeah, she's a uh, she's most at ease when she's close to her family, and when she has something really close to her that she really loves, so like that dinosaur. Another one of her favorites is this little ball that she uh, that she discovered out on a walk one day. It's like this really rundown ball that's only like yay big, something like that. So it's like a tiny thing. So if she's holding it, you can barely even tell that she's holding it, because it's like her lips, like, almost go over it in a way. But there's something about that little ball for some reason that just gives her such comfort. She takes it around everywhere. And because it's so tiny, it's so easy for it to get stuck under things. Like, you know, under, like, tables and, uh, you know, furniture and stuff like that. And it becomes a massive pain digging it out. But, you know, she's just not the same when she doesn't have her little ball around. Or some other toy that gives her comfort like that. You know, she paces around, she's restless. She really loves that little ball. And we have no idea why. Maybe it's because, like, rather than a toy that, you know, any of us got for her. Maybe it's the one toy that she discovered herself. And, uh, you know, maybe she takes pride in that. Maybe it's just, like, the feeling of that and she quite likes that. Final Fight is fucking bonkers. I can't wait to see her reaction to it. Alrighty. Why not romance them all? Because we're playing Persona 5 Loyal, is why. Until next time. I have Futaba twice because I struggle with picking different romance options in games. <laughs> my oh my. In a situation similar in a way to Kamakami, Kamakami's put into a crummy situation was able to really vibe with that then. Yeah, that, uh, oh, a little bit of a stretch. I heard a little bit of a groan from her there. Yeah, there's a lot of different characters in this game that I feel like, you know, can really vibe and resonate with so many different players real experiences you know um uh, it's me may i have a little bit of your time i was just a little curious about your thoughts regarding my decision to reveal my fixed matches that is um i support it thank you i'm glad to hear that you're the reason i managed to make that decision after all our talks helped me realize i should play with the utmost sincerity oh i also just realized i should have gone to uh 
to Chihaya and gotten that fortune telling for the correct option. Whatever. Um, I forgot about it. From here on, I will. Uh, I'm sorry. I only wanted to convey my gratitude to you. Well, let's prepare for my exhibition match, so I'll be going now. I'll see you at the church. Alright. Alright, Needle. 